Today I'm sharing one of my all-time favorite holiday treats, soft and chewy iced molasses cookies. They're packed with warm spices, a sweet vanilla glaze, and they're super easy to make. If you're looking for a nostalgic dessert, these cookies are perfect. Let's get started. First, we'll prepare the dry ingredients in a medium bowl. I've got some all-purpose flour ready. Now I'm adding in some cozy spices, ginger, cinnamon, cloves, and a little nutmeg. We're also throwing in some baking soda and salt. Give that a good whisk until everything's combined and then set it aside for now. Next up, the wet ingredients. In a large bowl, I've got some softened butter. To that, I'm adding in brown sugar, and we'll grab our electric hand mixer and cream these together on medium speed for about two to three minutes, just until it's light and fluffy. Now here's where the magic happens, the molasses. Unsulfur molasses is a must for this recipe. It's got a cleaner, more natural flavor compared to the sulfur kind, which can taste kind of bitter. So go ahead and pour that in. Then we'll add in an egg and some vanilla extract. Mix this on low speed for about 30 seconds until everything is smooth and fully combined. Make sure to scrape down the sides of your bowl before gradually adding in the dry ingredients. Keeping your mixer on low, you want to mix this until it's just combined, but don't overmix. The dough should be soft and slightly sticky. Now use a cookie scoop to portion out the dough into little cookie dough balls and place them on a baking sheet. We're gonna pop this dough in the refrigerator for at least 30 minutes. Now I know it's tempting to skip this step, but trust me, chilling the dough really helps the flavors develop and it's what gives them that perfect soft and chewy texture. Once the dough is chilled, roll each ball in granulated sugar. About a quarter cup in a small bowl should do the trick. Coat the dough completely and then space them out on your prepared baking sheet about two inches apart. Bake at 350 for about nine to 11 minutes. You want the edges to be set, but the center should look slightly underbaked. That's the secret to keeping them soft and chewy. Let your cookies cool on a baking sheet for about five minutes before transferring them to a wire rack to cool completely. All right, now while our cookies are cooling, let's whip up a simple glaze in a medium bowl, add powdered sugar, a little milk, vanilla extract, a pinch of cinnamon, and just a bit of salt. Whisk it all together until it's smooth. You want the glaze to be slightly thick, but still pourable. If it feels too thick, just add a bit more milk, one teaspoon at a time until you hit that perfect consistency. Now it's time to drizzle that glaze over the top in a fun zigzag pattern. Or if you want a more traditional look, dip the tops of the cookies directly into the glaze and let the excess drip off. Let them sit at room temperature for about 20 minutes so the glaze has time to harden. And there you have it, soft, chewy, spiced to perfection and topped with a sweet vanilla glaze. These ice molasses cookies are pure nostalgia in every bite. If you enjoyed this recipe, be sure to give this video a thumbs up. You'll find the full recipe linked in the description box below. Don't forget to subscribe for more easy dessert recipes. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.